Hello friends! As you may know from my other videos, I've been kind of busy lately and I haven't had time to really care for my wigs. I've been wearing a lot lately because I've been too lazy to do my hair and I kind of just throw it on my head and wear it for the day and then put it back. I'll clean it sometime, I'll brush it sometime, I'll do it. The time is now! The time has come to organize my wigs. I've also ordered a lot of wigs, and a lot of wigs come with long bangs, but I prefer to have shorter bangs, but I can't cut it myself. So I have my hairstylist do it, and I haven't been able to see her for quite a while. And I've lost track of the wigs that I need to get cut because I've bought so many. It's time to organize my wigs, clean them out, and I figured I'd take this opportunity to share all of them with you, show you my whole wig collection, and also tell you where you can buy some of these wigs and how you can care for them. Everyone asks about my mannequin head. It's actually a coin bank that I got in Chinatown in San Francisco, but there's no way to get the coins out. So there's forever a bit of change in my mannequin head. I keep all of my wigs in a drawer with my off-brand blouses. As you can see, it's a little bit messy right now, but I'm going to organize it as we go through it. All of my wigs are synthetic, so they resemble real hair, but are actually artificial. All in all, I have 23 wigs and 5 hair pieces. That's a lot of wigs. Both of these are from Bodyline. I really like Bodyline's wigs. This is my favorite wig. It comes from Rockstar Wigs, which is a line of Doll Lux. I think that's how you say it. And they also have the line Gothic Lolita Wigs. You can shop all their different lines from the same site. This is my first lock shop wig. I actually bought it secondhand from a friend. I haven't gotten the bangs cut yet, so I haven't worn it, but it's really beautiful and I love the quality. These wigs are from abhair.com. I don't want to say too much because I'm going to do a full review on them. In the meantime, if you want to shop with them, you can always use my discount code. The rest of my wigs are all from eBay. I usually have an idea what I'm looking for and I use really descriptive words to find it. Buying wigs on eBay is always hit or miss though. They don't always match the photo and sometimes that can work in your favor and other times, not so much. When shopping eBay, always use your better judgment to see if a photo has been manipulated or stolen. This is my last wig, and it's also from eBay. I'm going to use it to demonstrate how I clean my wigs. It's kind of messy right now. You can see the ends are all clumped together. It will look a lot better when we're done with it. First, I'm putting in a sink with cool water and adding fabric detergent to it. After patting it down, I then rinse the fabric detergent out of it. I do this by folding it up and then squishing it in my hands under running water. You can also let it soak in a sink with plain water and then drain. After all the detergent is out, I let the sink fill up with cool water again and then add fabric softener. And then I gently pat it into the water. I let the wig soak in this for about 20 minutes before rinsing it out. Fabric detergent and softener work as shampoo and conditioner for my synthetic wigs. I wouldn't want to use any real hair products on them because it would leave them greasy. Now that my wig is all clean, I'm going to towel dry it so that it's ready to brush out. I recommend you use a wide tooth comb to brush wigs. I couldn't find mine, so I used a brush. Starting from the bottom of the wig, I hold a section of hair slightly above where I'm going to brush out and then brush it. It will start to go straight and lose its shape, but it will all retain itself after it's dried. And then I just keep working my way up the wig. Once it's all brushed, I hang it up to dry. Gravity will pull water out of the wig as it dries and cause it to drip. I usually hang it over my bathtub. I use this method with all different style of wigs. The only difference is with tighter curled wigs, I brush out each curl individually. It can be a long process, so I usually put on a podcast or TV show that can entertain me while I'm doing this. After drying overnight, the wig I clean is back to its former glory. Look at how the ends look so much more natural. 
It just needs a light combing and then it's ready to wear. I try to keep the plastic bags my wigs come in or use Ziplocs for those I've lost. Using a net inside of a bag is an extra step you can take to keep your wig safe. I tend to lose the nets that my wigs come with though. So I usually fold my wigs and then put them in the plastic bag and seal them shut. This will help keep them from getting dusty, but you also want to make sure that they're completely dry when you put them in. Storing them this way also keeps them from getting tangled on other objects, and then they're nice and ready for you when you want to wear them next. I got tired of always misplacing my wig caps, so I put a box in my drawer with my wigs to keep them all in one place. And that's everything! I hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe it helped you out too. Until next time, stay lovely!